Hi! Welcome back! Or welcome if you're new. Hi, I'm Paige. Um, I have some very exciting news that I'm so excited to share. I have been waiting for this day. I guess I've been waiting for tomorrow for ever. And it's finally here and I cannot wait. And I want to take you along with me for the entire journey. It is a four day journey. So, so excited. Hi kitten. Hi. I really need to start getting ready. My entire, like, everything is a mess, so let me situate this and then I'll get back with you. I need to pack. My birthday is on Sunday and this video is obviously going to go up after my birthday, but my birthday is on Sunday and I'm going to be old and I felt that I needed to take a trip by myself because I have no one to go with me, but that's fine. Everyone's busy doing their own thing or they can't afford to or they're not vaccinated. It's fine, it's fine, whatever. So I booked myself a trip to New York City for my birthday. I am going to be leaving tomorrow morning at probably like three, maybe I think, two to three if I wanna be on time. Um, and then my plane leaves at th at seven, I get to New York at 3.22 Eastern time. So I'm super excited, but now I need to pack. It is currently 7.15 PM and I need to pack. So because I'm already spending so much money on this trip, so I'm going to be bringing my carry-on bag and anything that I can fit in here can go with me. So I'm kind of nervous. Now looking at it is not as big as I thought it was. Then I always have this problem. The cat wants to go. You're not allowed. I mean, I could probably put you in there, but we're just not, we're just not gonna do that. I honestly don't even know where to begin. Since you're allowed to have two carry-ons, I'm going to be bringing my camera bag because I'm planning on doing some photo shoots while I'm there. Okay, is this an awful angle? That's probably gonna be really annoying with the fan. Sorry. Oh my god, you're so cute. Okay, this is not for you. I'm gonna be there for four days. It's gonna be cold. It's gonna be cold. But it'll be in the 70s. These are my favorite pants that I own. I thrifted them from Revivals. They're Levi's. I think they were like 12 bucks. Literally, they're high-waisted. They fit me so good. I want all of my pants to be these jeans. And then I thrifted this man, this men's sweater from Revivals. This sweater I wore yesterday. It looks so good. So I'm definitely bringing that. And then it looks like really good with my gold necklace, like over the top of it. I love this bra. The t-shirt bra from Victoria's Secret. Mm, man, it's so comfortable. Best bra ever. I feel like I'm going to overpack. I feel like I, I always overpack. I got this long sleeve green shirt from Revivals, thrifted that. I haven't worn it yet, but I think it's super cute. Okay, so the this is the, so far, the absolutely 100% for sure pile. And then I have other things in my closet that I know I wanna bring. Just go over there or something. Okay, and now we look at my closet I just have so many options here that I don't even know what to do kind of struggling with what to bring because I'm having just a hard time so I did just buy this super nice coat that I believe I could bring if I knew what my phone was. Okay, so it's actually not gonna be that cold, so I don't honestly think I'm gonna need this jacket, unfortunately. And then on my birthday, I wanted to wear this jumpsuit that I wore. Um, if you follow me on Instagram, you'd have seen it, but this is what I wanted to wear on my birthday. I'm so indecisive and can't make up my mind, so I should probably just not 
pack this bag. I should probably pack something smaller. I should probably pack something bigger. Like, do I need this sweater then? Yes, I do. Do I need these? Yes. I hope this doesn't exceed the weight limit. I'm sure it'll be fine. It was fine last time and I put like a lot of stuff in here. I get, I get, I don't want to bring shorts though, but it's going to be like 80. 80 here is cold, but 80 there, like what is 80 there? <laughs> is 80 there as cold as here? Or am I going to like die? I'll bring a pair of shorts. I'll bring the only pair of shorts that I actually like, which are these high-waisted ones from Zara. They're the they're high-waisted, they fit really nice. The only thing I don't like is I wish that I could cut them shorter, and I probably could. I don't know why I don't, honestly. But because I always roll them and then they come unrolled, and I just don't like it. So I honestly could. I don't know why I don't. Not me thinking about it. Not me thinking about it. I'm not gonna have like scissors in New York. <laughs> I'm not gonna be able to cut my, my cut my shorts and I don't want to I hate rolling them I hate rolling them so much but what if I cut them and then I don't like them and they're my favorite pair of shorts and then I hate them why am I dilemmaed by this anyways I will decide later but those will go in there too oh I got this thing this is an airfly duo an Airfly Duo. I found it on Amazon. I actually found it on BuzzFeed and then I found it on Amazon and it plugs into the uh, the headphone outlet in the back of the, t the screen thing on the back of the chair and you can connect your AirPods to it. I mean it was only like 30 bucks so I hope it works. My battery is going to die so I'm going to put my toiletries and stuff together and I will see you when I'm have a battery I guess it is now 8 38 I have packed everything the only thing that I haven't packed yet is my toothbrush which is going to be going in there and then my heels that I wanted to wear on my birthday those are also in my car so I think those are the only two things that I'm missing that I'm aware of. So I have the clothes that I'm gonna be wearing when I leave. My suitcase is packed. Morai is there eating stuff. This is my camera bag that I will be taking. Um, I just packed like my essentials in here and just little things. And then in here I have my camera and my lens and then I have the battery chargers in here as well. So I guess that's where I'm going to leave this and I will pick this back up when I'm leaving and then I'm going to be going to New York. So I guess this vlog is going to be like day one of me packing, me leaving and then getting there and then day two will be my trip throughout the time I'm there. So I will catch up with you when I'm getting ready to leave. Well, if you can't tell, I made it to New York. Sorry I didn't vlog like any of it, any of the trip I mean, just because it was a lot. I mean, not a lot really happened, it was just like, I think traveling is just always a lot. So, you know, we're here now, it's good. Okay, so let me give you a little hotel room tour. We have the front door. There is a closet here that I probably won't be utilizing because I'm lazy, don't put my stuff away. The bathroom. And this amazing shower and 
I cannot wait to take a shower in here. Oh, and put my suitcase here. Here's the desk. We have a mirror. It shows you how terrible I look after a day of traveling. And we have the TV, a little coffee station that I will again probably not utilize because I don't drink hot coffee. Here's my bed. Don't mind my stuff on it, I'm still getting situated. And then the best part is my view. And it's just a wall of window. Is that not just gorgeous? So I made it to New York. Uh, it does not feel real. Um, the sounds of the city are real though. I still, it still doesn't feel like real that I'm here in this hotel that I've literally been planning on coming to forever. I mean, I say forever, but it's been like a month. Wow. But I have a photo shoot I have to go do. I'm gonna prep myself, make myself a little better. Um, go do the photo shoot. We're gonna pick a place to meet at and then we're gonna, I'll upload the photos in this vlog for you to see. Um, and then I think we're gonna end the vlog today and then do another video tomorrow and Saturday and then Sunday is a whole different day. I'm so excited. I miss my little kitten though, but she's fine. I have a neighbor watching her, so she's good. <sighs> so I'm gonna get ready and let's go photo shooting. Let's go do a photo shoot. Is this cute? Don't really have much of a choice, do we? So it's amazing what a little dry shampoo and a little ponytail will do. Okay, so I got back from my photo shoot a while ago, um, probably around like 7.30 or 8. It is, okay, so it had to be closer to like 7.30 because it's, it's 9 o'clock now. I did not have the energy to go and find somewhere to eat, so there's a Taco Bell right down the road, and I got Taco Bell. I know I just talked about it in my podcast don't get something that you can get at home like but it was the first night oh my god look at this building that is so cool i wonder what building that is i'll have to look it up and this one's blue that is so cool <laughs> this is what it looks like oh my god don't mind, I have The Office on. I was watching Friends. I don't actually watch The Office, but The Office is on. But this is the view at night. Wow. Wow. Gotta say, it is everything that I thought it would be. Wow. I just really feel like I'm dreaming like i'm not actually here like it still doesn't feel real maybe like give it a few days and like the day i leave i'm like oh wow that was real it's wow so tomorrow at 8 a.m i have another photo shoot and we're gonna go to madison square park never been there before um but today we shot just on the side of the road down the road and we went down to the subway and we took some really good shots. So I'll insert some here for you. And if you want to see more, you can just follow my Instagram. I'll have it linked down below. 
<sighs> I'm on the 17th floor, if that's not weird. 17 is like my number that I see. It's like my lucky number, like my number. My birthday's on my birthday's on the 17th like it's yeah but when she told me i was on the 17th floor i was like you're kidding no i'm not okay i'm sorry for all the weird lighting but i'm gonna end the vlog here and i will see you next week and you will see my next two days in new york city mm -hmm.